special. Tonight at 7 on Fox 5. All right, protecting kids against COVID-19 is obviously front and center for parents mm. these days. Well, there are some ways that you can boost their immunity right from your kitchen. And joining us now, the author of Happy Gut, Dr. Vincent Pedre, who joins us this morning. So Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. I'm already hungry getting looking, looking at all this stuff. That, that, that sauerkraut making you hungry? Yes, I love pickles and sauerkraut, but we're talking about fiber and fermented foods and how this can actually boost your immunity before you yeah. get COVID. So explain to us how this all works. Yeah, exactly. So there was a new study that just came out from Stanford University, and they looked at a group of people that they divided into two groups. Mm -hmm. One was a fiber-rich diet, and the other one did a high fermented foods diet. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to see what did it do to the gut microbiome and what effect did that have on the immune system. What they found is that fiber helps improve your immune system, but it was fermented foods that decreased inflammation yeah. and improved microbiome diversity. Right, that's what I mean, that is the sort of the buzzword these days, gut health. Mm -hmm. We hear yeah. a lot about it, sort of a, new field of discovery really for a lot of us we probably don't do as well at it as we should and, and, and the thing is that when we're talking about gut health we're really also talking about the health of all these little probiotic bacteria there's like up to a hundred trillion living inside right, right. the large intestine and we want to encourage the growth of the good bacteria that exactly. exists within us okay so this yeah. is not just for kids because i'm going to say you have a little one i don't know how you're going to get her to eat the onions yeah. garlic pickles sauerkraut. sure right. you know what <laughs> i'll tell you i used some tricks with my son so onions, garlic, uh, you can hide them in soups. You can put them in mm. other foods, like start right, introducing them. Around, things like that, you know, yeah. kind of hide them with other flavors, mm -hmm. but at least you're still getting them in. Right, all right, so walk us through what we have on the table here and the specific benefits of each of these. Okay, so we've got foods that are rich in fiber, and we have also have fermented foods. So the greens, that think greens, fiber, uh, scallions, they have prebiotic fibers, so that mm -hmm. means that they have the types of fibers that feed the good gut bacteria, and you want okay. more of those. Yep. Same thing with onions, garlic. They all feed the good gut bacteria. Then we've got these fermented foods, so I've got, and these are actually dairy-free. Because right. one thing to know as we enter into uh, flu and cold season mm -hmm. this year is that respiratory infections tend to aggravate, or they get worse with dairy. So okay. if your kid has asthma, dairy tends to aggravate asthma. So this is a dairy-free kefir drink. Mm -hmm. right, so it's like that. a yogurt right, drink. Of yogurt, right. And this is a coconut yeah. yogurt here. Can we try any of this? And these, some of these are like vanilla flavored, so you yeah. can get kids to kind of like this. Or one thing that I do is I'll put it in a smoothie, so I'm hiding it with other flavors. Right, right. You can get your kids to drink this. Sauerkraut here uh, may take a little bit of an acquired taste with yeah. children, but you know, <laughs> introducing them early on to these foods is what really helps. No, I mean, I, I'm going to right now. We've got a 17 month hold at home, and <laughs> my wife feeds her all sorts of foods I would never have thought of to eat as a kid, and I mean, they know and, what you give them. You know what I mean? So you sort of create yeah. that palate early. It's it's and what look, you make. And what kid it. doesn't like pickles? I mean, if they're my kid, they love pickles. I'm obsessed with pickles. I was pickles. like, did you, can, can you leave those there for us? <laughs> <laughs> now, is there any that? type of pickle in particular that we should be, you know, looking there's out all, for? There's all types of pickles, so you want to look for especially lacto-fermented pickles. I personally like buying them at the farmer's market mm -hmm. from the farmer where I can ask them how they made the pickles. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. those are going to be the best types yeah. of pickles. What about, what about probiotic pills, prebiotic pills? Sometimes now they have pills that, you know, combine them both. What what do you suggest on something like that? Um, look, you can give your kids probiotic pills, mm -hmm. but the take home is that you're gonna get the biggest bang for yeah. your buck by incorporating these types of foods. Right, you have to use the food as medicine. And to be clear, obviously this is not in, uh, in replacement of getting vaccinated and all that sort of stuff, this is to help just keep you naturally healthy. I love that you said, yeah, yeah. Right. food this is, is medicine. Mm -hmm. And if you choose the right foods, you can enhance your immune system. And what they found, there was a study that showed that the better your gut microbiome, the more diverse, mm -hmm. so remember fermented foods create a more diverse gut microbiome, mm -hmm. the least likelihood of being hospitalized with COVID mm -hmm. or yeah. having severe COVID. Very Do you think people have gotten that message during COVID at all? Because there's been mixed messaging. Obviously, they're like, get your vaccine and we'll give you no. Krispy Kreme. We, you know, we uh, haven't talked about any of the right. stuff, preventative things to do. We, we don't really I talk about that. I don't think right. that right. this type of stuff has gotten enough air. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I mean, this is the key. 
Yeah. This is really the key. Keep yourself healthy I mean, to begin look, with. I mean, we're right. seeing now that we're having breakthrough infections through the vaccine. I've had multiple patients mm -hmm. get COVID after having the vaccine. And what I keep telling them is, look, the gut is the gateway to your immune system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the way you take care of your gut is by the foods you eat. I'd yeah. love to hear it. Quickly, I also know about gut health in terms of maybe, maybe not just being connected to physical health, but like mental health as well. Yes. And that's a big thing that we should probably be talking about too. That's a whole, Especially other, after you, that's <laughs> a whole yeah. other rabbit right. hole we can go down. Yeah. Sure. It's very interesting. <laughs> so happy that you're here. Biggest takeaway, you want to tell people out there maybe where to find you? or Eat more fermented foods. Eat more greens because that's going to make your immune system more resilient. Yep. And look, you can and find And you got me. a book, and you got a book, got too, a so book, people can yes. read about this. <laughs> I forgot about Talk about that. that. Um, my book is Happy Gut, Yeah. and I'm also on Instagram, and I post a lot of uh, informative, yeah. free content on Instagram mm -hmm. to educate people about gut health and how they can use enhancing their gut health to enhance mm -hmm. their whole body and, and their wellness, the including mental people health. Need yeah. to hear for sure. All right, Dr. Vincent Pedro, we appreciate it. Thank you very much. Happy gut, healthy people. Happy gut.